Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Outer Reef, Arco, Costa Rica. And today we got a little surprise. We got a new, uh, we got a new toy to try out. Uh, this, <laughs> that is a, a Lighthouse Lures uh, Mega Bite. And that is like a massive soft bait jig. It's a jig head with a soft, you know, a paddle tail like, skirt on it, skirt, whatever. Um, and this thing is meant to be jigged on the bottom. It's super heavy. It's like, God, I don't know, it's like 12 ounces or something. Huh. We are going to tie it on. I like this color too. It looks like a little rose snapper or something. And I think we all know that those big snapper like eating those little snapper. So. I can tell you kids is uh you lock that drag down when you hook up on this thing because ain't no babies eating this. Uh, we may or may not get a hookup, but if we do, it's gonna be a real fish. Lighthouse Lures Megabyte. Freaking hoss. Let me see if I can find our fish now. seen them yet but here's the beauty of this lure you can drop this down to the bottom and you can troll it's so heavy it's gonna stay down there unless you really get moving fast so you can drop it down to the bottom and you can just troll the thing as you're looking for your bait or your spot or whatever and uh, if you think that they won't hit this paddle tail jig trolling along slowly and bounce off the bottom you are mistaken I'm gonna eat this thing. <clears throat> we'll see. You know, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. I wasn't aware of these until uh, back in January. I went to the, uh, the Los Busos World Championships, and there was a Canadian guy. We, you know, we all showed up with light bait rigs and, and, and you know, lead jigs and the normal fare. And there's this Canadian guy. This is a Canadian company, Lighthouse Lures. There's a Canadian guy, James Macbeth, and he showed up with a bag full of these weighted paddle tails. And it's an idea I'd had, you know, like I thought, I always thought like a big oversized paddle tail dropping down to the bottom and jigging it would work. But I could never get one to swim right, you know, because they were center weighted, they didn't have weight in the head, so they wouldn't do what I wanted them to do. It took too long to get down there. Anyway, James showed up with these things, and uh, I looked at him like, ah, oh, man, you're probably going to catch fish on those. And, yeah, he won the tournament on them. Uh, he, he just smashed the big grouper, got a huge AJ, 45, 50 pound AJ, uh, and he just crushed us. Uh, he had a couple of days where, where he just hammered the big fish on these things. And I got, a, I got one to bring home, caught a, a nice snapper immediately, and then taken away from me so I had to get some more but I've got a handful of them now and we're gonna see <clears throat> here's my suspicion on these lures I don't think that they're lures that you're gonna catch a lot of fish on you know I don't think you're gonna come out and lie. they're just so huge man yeah you know, they're, they're big lures it's not like you're gonna drop this down and get a five pound snapper on it you could but probably not um, what I like about them though is I know that the action on these soft lures they will get a huge bite. I've seen it in practice and I just know it. Um, so I look at it as if 
I'm willing to uh, to pay my dues with these things, and I'm kind of out here trophy fishing. Uh, I'm looking for a big boy, and I think this is the right lure for that. Uh, whether or not we can get something like that on on camera, I don't know. Find out. We'll try. I still haven't really got on my bait like I want. Let's move over here. Hey man, the cool thing is, like I said, we got this thing within 10 feet of the bottom. And we're just bouncing along down there. This thing could get grumbled at any moment. As though we're, we, we're not directly on our, our bait or the, the, the high spot we're looking for. Oh. I'm not positive. It may have been the bottom. I don't know. I think something grabbed the tail though. That's the other thing with these. They come in a package with two extra tails to put on the jig head because it's a big old lure. It's going to get hit short sometimes. You're going to lose some tails working this thing for sure. It does come in the box with a couple of extras. This is life. It's kind of easing along our, our bottom here. This is, you know, it's a relatively large area. The bait will tend to congregate in a smaller area, but I got, you know, I'll tell you, the good fish is not always directly on the bait. Now you drop your jig in the bait over time, you know, consistently, you're gonna have a better chance of hooking up if you're dropping right in the bait. But, man, there's big animals down there hanging 10, 20, 30, 40 feet outside that bait, looking in and just waiting. And you swim something by them, uh, you know, and, and, and you know they're sitting there, they're looking at that bait for a reason. They're hungry, they're waiting, they're thinking about it. And you drop something right in front of them and you'll get an opportunistic bite here and there, for sure. Bait. I've seen it a couple times out here, but I'm not able to find it now. Oh, shit. I got it. This stupid. I forgot I even had this out. That's a hard bait. A hydro minnow. Let's get this thing out of the way, because we are getting up on some bait right here. We didn't hook up there because my drag set's so tight. I probably would have broke my rod before I had time to react. All right. Okay, guys. There's bait down there. We got a giant lure down there. All we need now is a hungry fish. Hungry, hungry hippo. here uh, awesome hit it there he is
Yeah.